A couple months ago, I made a video about Joel Sherman's legendary 800 point Scrabble game with the title, Is This the Highest Scrabble Score Ever? There's a reason I phrased the title so vaguely. Joel's game is still the highest score recorded in North American tournament play, but the Collins Dictionary used in the rest of the world has more words in it and therefore even more scoring potential. Even still, there's only one 800 point game score ever in a game between expert players in the Collins lexicon, and it's a game that needs to be seen to be believed. In 2012, the Northern Ireland Scrabble Championship played host to a slew of elite players, including multiple former UK champions. Also in attendance was 2007 World Youth Champion and Singaporean Grandmaster To Weibin, who was in the UK completing his undergraduate degree at that time. To give you an idea of how skilled a player Weibin is, consider that in 39 games against the GOAT, Nigel Richards, he actually has a winning record of 20 and 19. In round five, Weibin was paired with Rick Kennedy, himself one of the top players in Ireland. Rick opens with an exchange while Weibin draws six clunky consonants. He plays Vim for 16 points, just enough to warrant playing and leaving four consonants rather than exchanging tiles instead. Rick responds with B, signaling a strong five tile leave. Next, Weibin draws poorly and is forced to exchange consonants, while Rick's two-tile draw is also poor, and he exchanges as well. Okay, not exactly the start you would expect from a legendary game, but I promise it gets better. Weibin strikes first with the Collins-only bingo of Vogiest. After such a short exchange from Rick, it's dangerous to open the triple lane on the board knowing he has five tiles he likes, but Weibin has to play his only bingo and by far his highest scoring move. Fortunately for him, Rick draws the Q and is forced to dump it for 30 points with Rickin. Meanwhile, Weibin immediately draws a second bingo of Anaphor, and he's even got two places to play it for the same score. With the board already so open, he decides to risk opening another triple lane, ensuring that with a decent follow-up draw, he'll have a strong scoring play awaiting him next turn no matter where Rick plays. Rick once again can't punish the opening and dumps his clunky W for 25 under Anaphor, partially blocking one of the open triple lanes. Fortunately for Weibin, the T remains open for him to play Alligate for 122, his only triple triple. Rick answers with Za for 37 and Weibin plays his high scoring F and K on the other triple with Forkier for 42, taking an over 200 point lead. Clearly beset by consonants, Rick's suffering continues as he plays land for only 10, while Wei Bin draws the second blank. He has many playable bingos, but they all open a triple lane to Rick. He could elect to play something like Dace, scoring decently, saving his blank, and not opening the board, but with the score so far out of reach already, he chooses to press ahead with his highest scoring play of Acetate. Amazingly, Rick draws three more consonants and plays Drowse for 35 points, many more than he could get playing through the open A. Wei Bin draws B-E-E-I-T-U-X. An expert North American player might spot the lovely Bauxite for 72, a sedimentary rock that is the world's main source of aluminum. But there's an archaic variant spelling of this rock that's only valid in the Collins Dictionary. Bauxite with an extra E. In this particular game, this variant spelling makes all the difference. Wei Bin knows this word and uses his extra E, upgrading a strong 72-point play to a 275-point bomb and bringing his game score up to 668 points. All of a sudden, what was already a huge blowout has entered potential record-setting territory. Let's spare a moment for Rick here, who's just been hit with five bingos in six turns from Vogiest onwards, including two triple triples. That can't feel good, but he answers with a nice play of Pays hooking Drowsy for 49 points. 
Weibin responds with Yond for 34, his top scoring move, crossing the 700 point barrier with a full quarter of the game left to play. Rick remains close to a bingo as he has been for seemingly the entire game, but his duplicated I's and T's are in the way, so he dumps them for 13 points. Computer analysis suggests he has about a 50% chance of playing a bingo next turn. With clunky consonants, Weibin again spots his highest scoring move of Chef and plays it for 33 points. And, of course, Rick whiffs his bingo again with a TU draw and fishes off those two tiles to maximize his bingo chances. But Weibin is inching closer to yet another bingo himself. He plays Veg, leaving the strong E-I-L-R on his rack. If Weibin can somehow get one more bingo down, he'll shatter Joel's 803-point record. Rick, of course, misses his draw yet again and plays on for 11, setting up another lane for his S. Weibin draws three vowels and spots an elegant place to dump two of them with Oi forming Cole and High for 20 points. You guessed it, Rick draws a poor bingo tile right as he's on the cusp of bingoing, this time the J, which he dumps for 9 points with only 2 tiles left in the bag. From Rick's POV, any of the A, E, I, or U will give him playable 7 letter bingos, and the R will give him a bingo to the E of acetate. But Weibin already has all 5 of these tiles on his rack. Without a bingo of his own, he has a couple plays he could make that will allow him to break the 800 point barrier, though both are exceedingly tough to spot. Ledums for 24 and Akmite for 30. However, Weibin wisely instead plays off just his U, reasoning that it's quite unlikely for Rick to have a bingo, whereas his own chances are excellent, with several tile draws allowing him to bingo in two spots, such as the T for Marlite and Materiel. For the last time, Rick draws the W and again has no playable bingos. As with Joel Sherman's 800 point game where Joel's opponent stopped tracking tiles long before the end of the game, Rick has also stopped tracking. He reasons that the C column is the likelier bingo spot for Weibin. So he plays Stro to block that lane and hopes for the best. But Weibin draws the D as the last tile in the bag, and as it turns out, he doesn't have a playable seven-letter word in that spot. He does have one through the E of acetate, and he plays it. Remailed for 63, ending the game and bringing his game score to 848 points. He then collects four more points from Rick's unplayed I and N, and with that... To Wei Bin set the record for highest single game score with an astounding 852 points. This game was a one in a million perfect storm of incredible tile draws for Wei Bin, which he played flawlessly and unrelenting bad luck for Rick, a very strong player with four wins against Nigel Richards to his own name. There's a reason that 800 point scores just don't happen in a high level Scrabble regardless of dictionary. In this game, it was an archaic variant of an aluminum ore that made all the difference. Who knows what word it'll be next time, if there even is a next time.